Welcome to today's video. So today what we're going to be focusing on is how to cut a short shag haircut. So what I want to do is I want to go through the sectioning first. And then for me, sectioning is the most important part. And then you get into the haircut, which becomes an easy part because you've already planned everything out in your head. So we start off, we take a triangle section right out of the fringe area. And then I go uh, vertical line straight down the center back. And then I draw from the crown over to the edge of that triangle, right at that recession point. And I section off my first or my second section. And then I'm going to do the same thing, mimic it on the other side for the third section. And that's pretty much going to section off this haircut. The only other thing that we're going to throw in there is a couple disconnections, which I'll show you guys right now. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to section off two disconnections right in the temple area and just braid those away. It doesn't matter if these really come out, um, but you want to be aware that that's where that disconnection is going to happen. And I'll show you the benefit of that towards the end of the video. So we're going to start off our cutting is a slight diagonal forward line right in the back uh, center back of the head. And I'm going to follow the head shape straight down. I'm going to continue doing that, working over to the previous section, slightly over directing, but not too far. Uh, I'm not trying to build length towards the front. I just want to over direct it back to the previous just to use that as a guideline uh, throughout the haircut. Uh, I don't want to pull the guideline to the section because that'll make the section a little bit shorter each time. Uh, what I want to do is have a tiny bit of extra length going towards the side of the head. I'll just keep working my way around the round of the head, being aware that as I move through this haircut, the head shape is going to change up near that crown area. So already you can see at the tip of my finger, uh, when I cut that first section, that's actually um, cutting the hair longer than towards the interior of my finger. So um, look right now. So you can see I start to elevate the hair a little bit because I know that that's where it's going to be heavy because the head shape starts to curve away. So I just counteract that by a little bit extra elevation. And then I tuck my fingers in when I get to behind the ear. So higher elevation, then I recomb and I work my finger angle more towards following the head shape. So just shifting in, cutting the hair a little bit shorter towards behind the ear, a little bit longer towards the top. That's going to give me that uh, expanded shape in the crown area. Now, as I move through the top and I get towards that disconnected area, you're going to see me over direct everything back a little bit more. I'm following the head shape here, but on that top side uh, right here, just so, so watch the top. So I over direct the top back and nice and high. That gives me a push of weight forward. But then as I recomb, I then go over the parting and just twist my finger angle in and follow that head shape. So that's kind of the key to this haircut. Building that nice shape is just over direction, elevation to take out weight and then tuck it in to then remove even more weight um, and get the hair nice and close behind the ear. So you can see that buildup of weight, that line that happens and it goes over to the ear. You can see the disconnection staying underneath, over directing the top up and then shifting it down to cut more of that length off. So I over direct it or I elevate it up to take out the weight and then I bring it down to cut my line. So now you can see I comb that disconnection out. We're going to leave that for later. I'm going to do that in the dry cut. I'm using Donald Scott prepare. This is a basically a cutting lotion. We use it for razor cutting, but I also use it in scissor cutting. So as the hair starts to dry, I want to add a little bit of condition, a little bit of shine to it. So I spray that in helps keep me organized, but it doesn't have any hold. And that's kind of the key. Uh, with that product. So biggest change here is I'm now working with my finger pointed down at the floor and I just continue those diagonal forward partings, bringing everything over to that previous section. And we're just going to work our way through this side of the head. Okay, so now we're going to hit into that other disconnection. Notice that the braid is not in there anymore. So you just have to be aware of it. You don't always have to section out your disconnections. I talk about this a lot. Uh, as you get faster in the salon, you might not section as much. As long as you're aware of the head shape, that's okay. So I look at how I'm working through it. I'm leaving that disconnection out. 
over directing everything back, elevating it up just like I did on the opposite side. Then I bring it down and I cut my line. So I'm elevating to remove weight and then I bring the elevation down to cut my line where I want it to be. So same thing, finishing it off, you'll notice I comb out that part that I want disconnected and then I cut the rest. So now that buildup of weight in the crown, beautiful shape that's happening. Now we're gonna cut the top layers. I grab a guide from the underneath. That's a short to long guide because of our over direction back on the previous section. So I just follow that line doing a point cutting technique, condensed cutting because I'm bringing this whole section together. Also a way to save time in the salon is condensing a section together as long as you're not over directing too much and changing your shape. So I bring that up, keep my finger angle the same, point cut into it. And I do the same thing on the opposite side as well. Elevate it up, point cut through, short to long. All right, so now that we finished the top, you can see that shag effect that's happening. Now we're gonna go in and cut the fringe. We're gonna use the Donald Scott carving comb. This is available on freesaloneducation.com or shop FSE uh, is a quicker way to get to it. It's 39 bucks, super cool razor tool. Uh, it's got the comb on one end. It's got a 100% cutting side, a 50% cutting side, and also allows you to use your scissors at the same time so you can have multiple tools in your hand at once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that front triangle. I'm going to over direct it to one side. We're going to create a convertible fringe, which is a fringe that can be worn both ways. I take the 50% cutting side and I cut it through. And then as soon as I get almost through the hair, then I go hundred percent cutting and just cut through it. What that's going to do is remove some weight with the 50% side and then remove all the weight with the hundred percent. So you're just softening the edges and then you cut through it. All right, so I'm gonna do this flat wrapping technique with the blow dryer using the nozzle to kind of be parallel with the hair flowing over it using the Ergo Diamond Head Paddle Brush from Shop FSE. Um, and I just work my way through until I get the hair dry, really work in the shape of the head. And then I go in and smooth the hair out just to polish the mid shaft to ends and get it ready for our dry cut. Now, I know some of you guys out there are thinking, this haircut doesn't look like anything yet. <laughs> well, I'm about to show you that so quick, uh, if you leave things with a purpose, you can really create a cool shape with this cut. So I go through and I'm elevating the hair, just softening it with a little point cutting on top. I wanna soften the shape a bit. Uh, then I'm gonna go through and do the same thing on the sides as well. So you can see that movement that's starting to happen, those layers that are happening through it. Uh, and then I go through the sides, I elevate those up, a little point cutting through that, that'll soften it. What point cutting does, it just diffuses a line. So if you cut lines into a haircut, then you need to soften it a little bit. You got a little bit too much weight point cutting is a great way to go in there and just take out density from a line to make it fall a little bit softer. So I do that through both sides, um, just kind of working that horizontal line across, elevating it up, making sure that I'm not disturbing that short to long line. So you can see that shorter towards my fingertip, it's longer towards the interior of my hand. As long as I don't mess with that line, I don't mess with the haircut. All I'm doing is trying to soften and take away some of that weight. Now we're going to do both sides slide cutting to remove a little bit of this disconnection. This is where it really comes to life. So you can see I pinch cut, I slide through with the scissor and it'll start to marry everything together and you'll start to understand why we did the disconnection in the first place. You never really know what a haircut's gonna look like till you start to get it dry. So I like those disconnections because it gives me a little more freedom to play around with the shape as it starts to dry. And we'll do even more as we work through it. So a little more point cutting, taking some vertical sections, just softening things through, adding a little bit of separation to this cut as well, and just working my uh, little bit of magic through this cut. So the last little bit, little detail work, I'm gonna use a YS Park 338 comb. Uh, this is a wide tooth comb. I love this thing for dry cutting because it doesn't get tangled up in the hair. And I just elevate the hair a little bit and then uh, pat it down with my scissor into the comb a little bit more. And then I uh, clean the line. So I just kind of dust over it to marry it all together. A little bit of the point of the scissor working through. And then that's pretty much it with this haircut shape. We're going to go in and style it. You guys are going to see it come to life. 
uh, after I do some of that detail work. Also, I wanted to show you guys here, that's from the over direction and then shifting your finger angle in. Now we're gonna go in Moroccan oil. This is one of my new favorite products. It's a dry texture spray. So you can see how the hair kind of just laid flat. And then as soon as I start spraying this in, look at the texture and uh, depth and contrast that kind of happens uh, with this product. I just start spraying it. And it, does, it doesn't have a real strong hold, which is what I like. So it just gives me a nice uh, textured effect and I can keep layering it over and over again to get the result that I'm looking for. Uh, finish it up with smoothing iron, just kind of twisting some of those pieces out, letting that product do the work for me. Uh, and I'm going to cut into the fringe. You know, some of you guys are thinking her hair is in her face. We're going to work on that too. Uh, so I just go in a little slide cutting with my scissor, and then I'm going to finish it with the Moroccan oil finish. This is a strong hold hairspray. Just hold it in my hand, give it that little twist, and then it'll start to build it up. Now know that we took that triangle out at the very beginning of this cut, guys. You could change that triangle. You could cut any type of fringe you want on this cut. So don't feel like you're stuck. You have to do that heavier fringe like we have here. Hope you guys like this end result though. Definitely try it on your guests. Try it on curly hair. Try it on straight hair. Try it on thick hair. Try it on medium hair. Play around with the technique. It's a lot of fun. Hope you guys like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Go download the FSE Now app for free on the App Store. Thanks for watching.